Within hours of Starship SN1 experiencing implosion, SpaceX started to work on Starship SN4. And to top it all, SN4 will be ready for testing before this month ends. I know this sounds awfully fast. In a way, it is quite fast, but SpaceX has developed routine by now. Routine that allows SpaceX to work on almost two Starships at the same time. And as I say this, SpaceX is also working on a Starship SN5, which will follow rapidly behind SN4. I expect Starship SN4 will be completed by the end of next week, with testbed moved to testing pad for pressure and engine test. Hello everyone! Before I start, I'd like to ask you all to take care of yourself. This COVID virus is a real threat to us all. Follow self-isolation rules. The vaccine won't be ready before October this year. So you'll have to miss this spring and wonderful summer sun, but at least you'll be healthy and alive. The virus has high rate of infection and mortality rate of 4.5%, meaning of total infected, 4.5% won't make it. ICU mortality rate, sadly, is way higher, around 40%. So please follow medical advice from a medical professional, a qualified doctor or a nurse. You might wonder what happened to Starship SN3. Although pretty much I've nailed it in my previous video, Elon Musk revealed more on his Twitter feed. Due to the loss of pressure in lower fuel tank, what would have been a liquid oxygen tank on the Starship, to summarize, Starship gets most of its strength from being fully pressurized. During the fueling of Starship upper tank, the weight of the fuel toppled the top bit of the Starship. This was a test error attributed most likely to staff negligence. However, don't worry, the total loss isn't as great as you might think. Loss to the SpaceX was about $6 million, or cost of the labor and material used in the construction of the Starship SN3. Not to worry, Starship SN4 is on its way, and such errors should be avoided in future. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Starship SN4, when completed, which should happen in next few weeks' time, should start a set of technical tests that could culminate in suborbital tests. First 5000 meter tests could happen as early as mid-May, with follow-on test, which is around 20 to 22 kilometer suborbital test, that could happen in early to mid-June. Starship SN5, by this point, will be taking over suborbital and orbital tests. Elon Musk was busy taking photos of Starship SN4 fabrication process, posting photos of fuel header tank. SpaceX is progressing relatively fast with Starship SN4, with fuel header tank integration into much larger liquid methane tank. The most complex bit of a fuel tank Putting Starship together and stacking it up could happen as early as Tuesday, right after Easter holidays. With this process taking at least two to five days, depending on the available staff levels. SpaceX has literally streamlined manufacturing process for Starship at Boca Chica facility. And as the facility need expands, this process will improve in coming months. That being said, SpaceX will most likely start work on Starship SN5 right after Easter, with Starship SN5 being most likely ready by early May. Integration of header fuel tanks indicates SpaceX is going to use Starship SN4 for suborbital tests. The header tanks are a necessity to enable Starship's ability to quickly, reliably and safely reignite its Raptor engines for recovery and landing related burns. Those tanks serve one main purpose, reserve a small portion of the pressurized propellant for Starship landing burns. There's also a chance SpaceX will try to demonstrate a skydiver style landing maneuver. However, initial 150 meter hop test could happen as early as week or 25th of April. SpaceX will try to perform a number of pressure and pre-flight tests on Starship SN4 beforehand, starting with a weekend on 17th to 20th. Now, this is my guess, but it looks like SpaceX wants to catch up with a strict timetable Elon Musk has placed on staff at Boca Chica. As I'm working on a video about SpaceX plans, which is coming next week, you'll have to tune for that one.
SpaceX is on target to test Starship SN4 within the next 15 days. This might also include a short 150 meter hop test. If pressure and hop test are success, SpaceX will fly Starship SN4 to 5 km orbit for 2-3 minutes. This test will happen really fast, within a week or two from initial 150 meter hop test, which is sometimes in mid-May. If this test is success, a follow-on 20 to 22 km suborbital test will follow on and could happen in late May. This test will be on SpaceX trajectory and deadline for orbital test with Starship SN5 sometimes before September 2020. By the way, sorry for my voice, I have a bit of a hay fever. It's the season. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description.